Hey everybody, this is Nicholas Barreto here. We're now tracking on just just the Hurricane Asias right now, and yeah, this is the second hurricane of this of this year's uh, hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin, and uh, it is currently impacting um the Bahamas, as as you could see on just just the radar imagery right now, and we also see a a closing eye wall as well as uh, as you can see here on the radar imagery and and uh, this is a sign that uh, that Asias is beginning to um, just re-intensify again and possibly become much stronger uh on just just than before and and a recon uh, on just just went in there and found a pressure of of over on just a 985.1 on just uh just uh, millibars and and uh, also indicating uh, that the storm is uh, is also intensifying as well as you can see it is currently investigating the storm on this plot here so uh, so as of currently the storm is right now at over 75 miles per hour a minimal hurricane but um, but it could be um, upgraded to 80 or 85 miles per hour, um, on uh, depending on and what the recon has found. But either way, it's it's uh, intensifying and and likely going to be a big a big issue for uh, for on the U.S. state of Florida within the next uh, coming days. Uh, so, so uh, as I looped the storm on on the infrared satellite imagery, and uh, uh, earlier this morning, it was relatively asymmetric. But since, uh, but since right now it has become uh, just just a much better organized, uh, just than it was before, and uh, this is likely mm, likely to continue as it is fighting um, on, on the wind shear and dry air. That's still impacting on on the system right now as it can continues to move northwest across the Bahamas, and uh, yeah, and uh, taking at the latest uh, info from the National Hurricane Center, and uh, hurricane warnings are are issued almost all of the islands of of the Bahamas at this point, and there's also a hurricane warning out for the eastern portion of Florida. I uh, do where the storm is expected to get on just just a very close if not on just to make a, a direct landfall in the eastern portion of the state um but regardless of landfall on um, on the storm is quite large so uh, so um tropical storm or hurricane impacts uh, could be uh, could be felt outside of the center of of this hurricane but if it does make landfall it'll be the first time in over 15 years since uh, since hurricane katrina made landfall on august 25th as as a cat one on um, hurricane and so so a a landfall is possible uh, here with Esaias, um uh, depending on how the the uh, bermuda high out uh, into the east uh, steers it now um i also, I want you to notice that on on that that if the storm is weaker, okay, according to a uh, a lot of models, uh, then uh, then uh, the storm uh could uh, could track more west. But uh, but it's a lot stronger. If it is a lot stronger, then it can move on just uh just a uh, farther um just the eastward, which uh, which a lot of models have have guided at this point um today. And uh, this plot is from uh, just just weathernerds.org today, and 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 pretty much agreeing that um, that Florida could get a direct landfall uh, just uh, some sometime by tomorrow as this comes in northwestward, and this is the last day for preparations for them, and it could be likely seeing hurricane force so uh, winds and. And some storm surge impacts across the coast as soon as as early tomorrow, uh, and, um, as this comes in, and then and then by Sunday, it could be it could be arriving uh, near on um, just West Palm Beach. Excuse me, 
possibly as a 75 mile per hour hurricane if if not stronger uh, but um, but like i said regardless of direct landfalls impacts are likely to be felt outside of the center uh, because of the large expansion of the storm's wind field at this point but uh, on but size is not the only game in town in in, in the atlantic ocean we got a uh, another uh, storm a storm in 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 the atlantic basin where uh, tropical depression 10 in the far eastern atlantic basin and uh okay the forecasts uh, i'm tracking not really shown here but i can show you the arrival time of tropical storm force winds so um the national hurricane center is, is forecasting um uh, td10 to become a tropical storm on just just by tonight or tomorrow uh, before before unfavorable conditions and cooler waters uh on just to take a toll on the system now uh, if this gets named uh it will be josephine uh and uh, it will be a relatively short uh, a short lived storm and not really not really affecting anybody except for some of the Cabo Verde Islands, as as you see, um, uh, as you see it to the south uh, west. So, so and the tropical storm force wind probabilities are likely staying uh, staying offshore, uh, but uh, but the Cabo Verde Islands uh, could likely see on some heavy rain at some point, um, um as the storm uh, storms outer bands. I could be affecting it by the next uh, just a few hours or so. And uh, we also got another on um, just a tropical disturbance in um, in the Atlantic MDR on the main development region. And this has got a 30% chance of formation within the next five days. And uh, and the models on just a do, uh, do strengthen this into a tropical cyclone when it gets... And right into somewhere in this point here, but if it does, um, it will likely be uh, short lived and not really affecting anybody, uh, except for possibly uh, Bermuda if it tracks uh, just in northeastward. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that in in a couple of days. But for now, our main focus is on Hurricane Asias. Uh, which is currently impacting on the United States, um, on the, uh, with uh, hurricane conditions, and and also the also the Bahamas. So let's take a look at the uh, a rainfall forecast uh, for uh, Hurricane size and in Florida, uh, they're forecasting about uh, just a four to six plus inches of of rainfall in the state. But it, it it could be higher, on uh, just the, since the storm is tracking uh, just a more more just over westward than, uh, than just than expected, uh, so and so what this is gonna <laughs> so this is gonna have to be watched as the system uh, gradually moves uh, northwestward, uh, just by this weekend and uh, beyond that on the Carolinas and the Mid Atlantic and the Northeast could also see some uh, some impacts on from. Um, Hurricane Asias uh, within the next uh, coming days, and uh, and and also storm surge impacts. They're forecasting two to four feet of storm surge, and one to three feet of storm surge uh, between uh, north north of Miami Beach and uh, Jupiter Inlet, and and a uh, storm surge. Uh, storm surge is the most life threatening hazard. In a hurricane, you guys. So, so make sure you uh, make sure you stay on higher ground. Uh, if 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 a told to evacuate if necessary. And and also on the arrival time of tropical storm force winds of hurricane size, it just will be arriving sometime by uh, by Saturday um uh, uh, by early Saturday morning, <clears throat> and. Uh, a tropical storm force winds will be arriving in the um in the Carolinas sometime uh, sometime by Sunday as it as it moves in northeast uh, away from Florida. 
So, uh, yeah, this is going to be my update for today, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, on just a, please stay tuned uh, for more updates as as I continue to track uh, Hurricane Asias stuff for you guys uh, and to keep you safe and prepared. So, uh, okay, if you like this video, on just, just make sure you leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with with the next update on Hurricane Asias. Peace out.